Hello and welcome to the Ford Factor. Back on the airwaves, back on SoundCloud. I mean, not really on the airwaves because we're not broadcasting on anything, but yeah. we'll make do. My name is Tim Senna. I'm joined. <laughs> say say what, Victoria? We used to. We used to. Oh, f- we don't talk about that though. Let's talk about all, that. All the uh. drama, man. Although uh, drama is a big part of this episode of the Ford Factor because we're going to be talking about the now famous Jake Paul Shane Dawson documentary a little bit later and how it might link to sports and our beloved athletes. But I guess a great point to start on, especially for us, Ben, the performance of our local teams. Um, this is Birmingham Podcast. We're proudly here at Switch Radio uh, as an independent platform. Me and Ben are Blues fans. Victoria's a Villa fan, which we'll, we'll definitely get to. Oh, no, we can skip that. <laughs> we, can, we can skip that. But you, you witnessed, Ben, a pretty sensational Blues comeback on the weekend. 2-2 with Ipswich. Sensation after the break. I mean, the first half was that bad. Yeah, it is just not worth watching. I could use experience, watching. but we're a family-friendly podcast, so... It, it's like, um... It was just... Oh. It's like all those crime dramas on BBC, only worth watching them at the end. Yeah, exactly. Try anything else. Harry, Harry Potter, Good maybe. Good comparison, though. <laughs> like that. Yeah, exactly. So, Jukovic's finally cropped up with probably the only two goals he'll actually score for an, the next year or yeah, something, because that's what Jukovic does, games. just to annoy us. What, what, like, what, what did you make of it, kind of, in terms of Blues, like, we... We finally start scoring goals, uh, and predictably, it's the time we let two in. Yeah, I mean, I think the first one could be prevented. It was from our throwing as well, that in their final oh, third. So um, every single time. I'm just getting frustrated with Blues that we we seem to like create chances against us quite a lot. I think. Yeah, um, against from the play, we're not, you know quite bad at just losing out um, all the time. But yeah, I mean, after. Half time, I think we scored straight away, um, and yeah. then straight away momentum was back with us. And, and you know, um, when it happens, we usually go on and get another one, which yeah. we did. Um, but it's just that frustration that we can't at home against a team at a second bottom. We yeah. can't go and um, control the game and beat them as, as, we, as we should do. But I have a big gripe with this in terms of the highlights as well, because we were watching the Sky Sports highlights. They always pick a, a camera angle that makes St Andrews look empty. Yeah, and it's not. It's not, it's not. It's not. It's hard not to though. It's, it's not. It's not the. F- it's not <laughs> the if fact. You that it's, it's, there's it's, yeah. plenty of people there. Exactly. I exactly. Think, I think the bigger issue is on the highlights. So it's on Quest now. It's been dropped so far down. I mean, all, what, even this what? Quest. What, yeah, what exactly. Quest. So I yeah. had to record it, and you ca- you can record it, but then you can't like catch up on it. Cause it's on Quest. And what, just to moan a bit more, Villa were really at the back of it. You might as well be on Dave after thirty fours and horses. You know what I mean? What What is Quest? You don't want to know, it's ancient. Is it UK TV something? They've got like um, Crystal Maze on it, which for you 90s kids like <laughs> us, Crystal Maze is like a boring version of Jungle Run. I've probably really offended people there because Crystal Maze is like OG. But at the same time, Jungle Run is more exciting. I've never mm. seen Jungle Run, but. Crystal You've never Maze, seen Jungle Run? 50 50? Anyone remember 50 50? Neither of you know 50 50 no. or Jungle Run. Oh, get your own back. No. What are you saying? See, these are kids' are these... TV shows no, from we, the 1990s. We went sat watching the telly. We were outside playing football. What do you expect? Oh, <laughs> all right. We can't all be former professional footballers like you, Victoria. <laughs> but anyway, um, speaking of professional oh, footballers, God. Aston Villa. Yeah. Not a, a massive one-all draw with. Um, yeah. Brist- who even was it? Bristol. Bristol. Yeah. Bristol. Bristol City. Very respectable result, for, you know, for a side like Villa. Um, well, that's, uh, the, that's the thing. Mid-table, fifteenth after ten games in the championship. All I I'd mean, like to say is we're only six points from the top and ten from relegation. Okay. Oh, okay. sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you look at when you look at it that way, suddenly, suddenly everything like looks much more. Yeah, much race more tinted glasses definitely. Or claret and blue tinted glasses. I don't yeah. know what's going wrong with Villa at the moment. It, because I mean, last season was really, really close to mm-hmm. as you playoffs, weren't you? It yeah. was really close to finally getting promotion, and you had that really good run. Won the second city derby, which you know I will admit. But now it just seems like the the wind has gone out of the sails, and Simon's not here to hate on Steve Bruce. But I mean, I think we've got to hate on Steve Bruce. Yeah, it's um, that's our to. that's our official line. It's yeah. not it's not libel or anything. We just don't. Yeah. You know. No, I don't. Yeah. Not a fan, but, Steve. Yeah, I mean, he shouldn't have had the job in the first place, but then this is what his bread and butter is, so to speak, and he can't get us up, and this is like our third attempt. It's only going to be harder for him. Um, I think he needs to go now before he takes the rest of us down forever. Yeah, basically. And joins Birmingham again. <laughs> Steve needs to. Would you take Steve Bruce back at Birmingham then? Yeah, no, and if I, we've got Gary Rowett no, now, so <laughs> definitely not. Not even Gary Rowett now. He's just, yeah. uh, but the, the key thing for bless. me is. Um, Villa are 15th, 
Blues are 16th. So a bit of a three-pointer in the works there. We're facing each other in November. Do you think that could be setting the stage nicely? Oh, it is, yeah. All the way. Definitely. All those games run up to them. It's going to be leading up to that. It's going to be... Please win it for the park. It's going to be very nice to wear. I think we're due. I, I think we're due. I think we're due a second time. Come on, Victoria. It's 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 been long enough. I think. Yeah. We're if you've due. got any chance, it'll be this season, won't it? Before we go back up. Before Jack Reed. <laughs> well, you said Jack Grealish has signed a new contract, and that, the base. Yeah, that's the only. It's so you thing. can make money off him. Yeah. When he goes to a better club. It's a five-year club. contract. It's a bit skeptical. Um, I think the only reason we've probably done it is we can sell him next season and make some money. Exactly. When Tottenham finally finished in their stadium and have some money. There you go. By Christmas, who's going to be ahead? Blues or Villa? Oh, that's a good question. That. God, I don't know. The... Um, you go first. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'd, li- I'd like to say Villa, but it's, it's not looking good, is it? Um, so Victoria thinks uh, Blues then. <laughs> we can safely say that. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And I'm, su- I'm assuming you think Blues as well, then. Uh, I'd like to say Blues, but... At the minute, you know, I can't say that. We are, we are I rubbish. Can't say them, we're always but I rubbish. Can't see us. But, you know, I, I don't know. Well, we're both looking for a turning we'll point. We'll be level, I reckon. I reckon we'll be level. Level, level literally, bang on. Bang I'm, on. Go on one day so it'll be it. like Man City and Man United, and we'll be one and two in the table. So, and it will all be fine. I want to talk about Jose Mourinho, and this is something that has kind of absolutely collapsed um, at Manchester United recently. The, I guess, it all started really. I mean, it's been going on for the start of this season. They're mm. down to like, like what, like seventh in the table. They're not doing well at all. Uh-huh. Um, and the question is, is Mourinho going to be still in the job at Christmas? Does Mourinho really have this kind of third season syndrome thing that he needs to overcome? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Mm. He does it everywhere he goes. But I think it doesn't help when the media's against you. I mean, from Chelsea, I think we've seen the same the same thing happen, really, yeah. where he went against the, the doctor almost and then the players seemed to turn against him. I, I think the Chelsea thing was really markedly like of his own creation with going against yeah. the going against Steve Carnero and just being like, I'm a big Mourinho fan. I will openly say yeah. this. I'm proud of my boy, Mourinho. Jose. He's the one. <laughs> he's, he's just lost it, though, hasn't he? One. And again, I think the players are going against him. The worst um, start to the season for 29 years, Man United. Yeah. That, but they, when they had David Moyes, it's got to be worse than this, surely. They're well, down to 10th, just to clarify. Quite close, must it? But oh, I must, suck, I must suck being 10th, just to ask Aston Villa. Oh, no, yeah, In fact, no, are you below 10th? Don't, don't check, being... don't check that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. He's just gone so miserable, hasn't he? He's, he's yeah. not much wrong with him. Do you think, so do you think it's a Mourinho problem, not a player problem? Because he's, he's said now that some yeah. players like care more than others. And uh, this has always been a theme for him, like openly criticising yeah. players. Do you think it's too demoralising? You wouldn't hear like a, a Pep Guardiola probably saying something like that. Well, I don't know them personally, but it's whatever gets them motivated. But I mean, Luke Shaw does not seem like the character. He seems like something you need to pick up, not put down. I think it started yeah. from there. But I don't know if he's he's got in there, he's brought the players he wanted, he's had the money, they haven't gelled. I mean, we can blame the players for if Mourinho, Mourinho's being a bit of a... Yeah. A troublemaker, but then also, is it the psychologist they've got that? I don't know. You know, there's loads of people to blame. Did you see the viral training footage where Mourinho sort of says something to yeah. Yeah. Pogba and then Pogba just runs over, he's like high five and everyone, then Mourinho sort of says something really bitter. It, it's like when you've had an argument with someone mm-hmm. and they're cool with it, but you've still got it. So they're all acting really chirpy and happy that they've got away with it. And then you'll just say something like really passive aggressive. That's what happens to Pogba. Yeah, it's like the naughty uh, school kid, isn't it? It's yeah, it's yeah. like it's but like a relationship. Do you think it'd be Pogba to go or Mourinho first? You think they're, you think they're both going? Well, I I mean, if if Barcelona Real Madrid are after him, I mean, could you see him going? I think he'd go. He's not playing I, well at the moment. I'd hope yeah. it wouldn't. I I know I I I support whichever team Mourinho manages often, but he is not letting me down at the moment. They they are only as. as as Aston Villa, they're actually yeah. only nine points off first, right? Yeah. So a lot, uh, Manu and Villa have a lot in common, apart from oh, the fact that on. Manu are good and Villa are rubbish. I'd, I'd hope to think we've got a bit more of a morale, even though we've got Steve Bruce in the helmet. Well, there. maybe Steve yeah. Bruce, Jose Mourinho. I bet. Similar. I bet he's got a bit of banter. Oh <laughs> no, I, I'm just looking at this l- l- kind of um, salmon pink kit that. They were wearing at um, West Ham, and I mean losing three one to West Ham like that is horrendous. Even more so than losing two two on penalties to, or losing eight seven on penalties to Derby after drawing two two. I think it's worth saying though that how, could be a factor. How well West Ham have done in that match because it seems to be they've had such a, a bad season as well. Everybody's against them, but we've got to think they they went out there played well. Yeah, definitely. Um, so they've got to have some credit for that. Sort of weather, isn't it? Like the big bigger clubs do do badly, and then 
Smaller clubs. There's always, well. always going to be one. It's like the Minnows. Yeah, yeah, Man United are like a big whale, and then all the other like sharks are coming in. The, the, the whale's dying, and the sharks are coming the in to dying. eat them. Yeah, that's what that's what's happening. I want to move on from um, calling Manchester United a whale, actually, to a great documentary. <laughs> no, this is a link because it involves Jose Mourinho, right? Yeah. I'm sure you guys have been watching Shane Dawson's new documentary on Jake Paul and whether he's a sociopath. Yeah. I definitely will be after this. <laughs> yeah, you will be after I've really sold it to you. Yeah. Basically, in this documentary, like Shane Dawson, just he puts like a really sinister bed on, like sinister instrumental in the background. So um, I can like play it to you now. It's basically like a sinister, a sinister sounding bed like this. So you get the idea, and then he's sort of like reacting to Jake Paul doing Jake Paul type things like setting fire to his swimming pool or jumping on a news van and he keeps saying like Jake Paul whatsapps him and he goes like oh my god I'm, I'm getting chills I'm getting chills <laughs> what have you ever really? got chills when someone whatsapped you I don't no. think so that's a weird reaction isn't it so, what, what's he sending I don't uh, no it's just like a, it's just that? Jake Paul whatsapping him with this sinister music over and it, but it got me thinking because Shane Dawson spends like all these documentaries like an eight part series uh, about whether Jake Paul's a sociopath. He speaks to a psychologist. Um, he consults like uh, a drama baiting YouTuber who's studied every aspect of Jake Paul's life in Team 10. Um, it got me thinking what sports personalities or footballers could be sociopaths? Like, uh, have we got any ideas? I, I've got the cue in from Jose. What are you guys thinking? I'm saying uh, Paolo Di Canio. Paolo Di Canio! Yeah, he is a bit crazy, Just, isn't what, he? Uh, what a madman. I mean, equally for us, Lee Bowyer, someone who just start yeah. an argument with his own teammate. Sociopath is like someone who just has no feelings and manipulates other people, mm -hmm. rather than maybe uh, a psychopath who is just like insane of the ilk of. Then maybe Zacanio. Zacanio is definitely that then. The yeah, person, maybe uh, he's more yeah, manipulative. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Uh, I've got to say Balotelli, I think. Balotelli because could be one of them. He's called Super Mario. He he thinks he's it, and he set off fireworks in his in his house. That is a bit only. crazy. Yeah. They've got to be incredibly likable, apparently, as well. So maybe it's like all along, um, Ian, Ian. Oh, what's his name? Ian Holloway. Ian, all, 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 all the long, Ian Holloway is actually a sociopath, and he's been putting on this front whilst <laughs> manipulating everyone. But I'll tell you what: if you put sinister music like over a Jose Mourinho press conference, suddenly oh you can start to imagine that Jose Mourinho is indeed a, a sociopath. Sometimes what it looks is exactly the opposite. If I, if you understand what I'm saying, you can be laughing and be the, the saddest person in the world, and you can be with a with a very sad face, and you can be a fantastic actor, and inside of you you are very happy. So sometimes what you see is not what. Are you guys convinced by this? He sounds like a, he sounds so sinister straight away. Yeah, don't he, he's very chilling. He, <laughs> he sounds miss. like the next target on Killing Eve. Have you watched that yet? Was the next target? Oh no, no. Although that, I saw that, a tweet about it. Yeah, and no, that sounds like he's the next one to be murdered. Yeah. Well, so there you go. Jose Mourinho is definitely about to get murdered. Um, I don't know if we can say that. <laughs> we said it anyway. Uh, man, you conspiracy. I've been watching too much Bodyguard. Maybe there'll be like some people trying to take him down. If you, it is amazing the Shane, Shane Dawson's learnt this. If you put sinister music over anything, you can make it sound like really ominous. So I, I think it's a uh, something we can learn Editing. going forwards. If yeah, if, if we ever want to do like a documentary, I might try that when I uh, come back to edit this later on. Yeah, <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> you, 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 there's three great episodes that hopefully the third Shane Dawson episode will be out by now. Click the click the link in bio because he's he's only getting 15 million views per episode, so I reckon we need to help him out. Oh, definitely. Um, eight, eight parts are on. on yeah, this. Eight, eight part series on Jake Paul. Jeez me. And it's going to get like 10 million views in each one at least. If it was next one, I reckon a, a ten part series on Jose Mourinho or eight part, like you could get more on whether he was a sociopath than Jake Paul. Are you fun, just, fun uh, doing that, by the way. Should we? Yeah, give it a go. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Who? I don't know. We could pick another sports person. Who? Steve Bruce. He's uh, well, we have to. It's only sunny, sunny fair, isn't it? Uh, yeah. it? Can I make Steve Bruce sound sinister mm. with? Uh, he's got. He's such a softly, so, softly spoken guy. In fact, I've got. Mm. I've got a clip from him saying uh, Bruce is ignoring Boo Boys on uh, Sky Sports. This is a uh, trademark Sky Sports audio. Please don't sue us. There's probably going to be some adverts playing now. But I'll equally. I'll, I'll get the sinister music back and put it over Steve Bruce. <laughs> And it, it's uh. it's gonna it's gonna work perfectly well. I can guarantee I can guarantee that much. I just have to wait for the um, advert for Screwfix to finish. Other 
other um, things are available. Tool station. Okay, here we go. Steve Bruce is talking. And he had quite a few chances as well. Do you think you deserve more tonight? Well, um, I'm pleased you said it because we did. It was an awful decision to disallow the goal. I think the goalkeeper's run into Tammy. Um, and uh, obviously the referee's got it wrong in my opinion, but um, I suppose I'm going to say that. We had a big penalty shout. That'd be interesting to see back. And overall, a difficult game, but I thought... Do you now think Steve Bruce is going to murder someone after hearing that? No, I feel quite sad. I feel like he knows time's <laughs> coming to the end. <laughs> that was very sad, that was. <laughs> On that bombshell, this has been a forward factor. Um, it's like it's like that Muse song, um, Isolated System, where it's, it's kind of like a piano loop over newsreel. You can put this music under an interview of any football manager and make it sound like they're going to kill people. Um, any, any closing thoughts, guys? Um, now we've proved that Steve Bruce is a sociopath. We definitely have. Uh, just shout out to uh, Solio Moores, who are fourth in the National League. Yeah, we probably should, have, probably should have talked about it, actually. You've been down we'll Solio Moores. Next, next yeah, we'll talk about it next week. We'll have them there next. Um, and look forward to seeing Villa lose more, I guess. Mm. Mm. It's happening. <laughs> you can't stop it. It's happening. Uh, remember who's still above for you in the table, yeah? Um, a lot of people. I'll print screen that. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.